Sam, Sam, who, yeah. Sorry, Deputy Gary Gannon, yeah? In the Social Democrats, will be a strongly objection to the tomorrow's business, in particular the commission on the and mother and baby homes being sealed for 30 years and the manner in which this is being brought to us has been rammed through the Shannon. There's been absolutely no pre legislative scrutiny on it and inevitably it's going to face a guillotine given the time that we've allocated on it. I think this is an incredibly important piece of legislation and if it goes through as this, it'll be an act of political cowardice and we won't be, com we won't be complicit in it. <coughs> Thank you, Ken Corla. Um, Taoiseach, you were part of Bertie Hearn's government that brought in a gagging out order further compounding survivors' trauma caused by institutional abuse. And you admitted that that was a mistake. You can choose not to re repeat the mistakes of the past today. If we pass the Mother and Baby Homes Records Bill in its current form, the only question worth asking is whose interests are being served, because you and I both know it's not the interests of survivors. There is no closure without justice, and there can be no justice if the state continues to hide information away. The systems of the state have done enough damage, and it's time for it to stop now. I'm asking you, will you please stop it now? Thank you, Taoiseach. I was a member of that government that led, that led the opening up of all of the secrets to do with the industrial schools uh, and gave the survivors of those industrial schools their voice. Uh, no, sorry, I did that as chairing an interdepartmental committee that led, that, led, that led to the inquiries. I spoke to the survivors, talked to the survivors who will tell you how honestly and I engaged with them. And I don't take, with all due respects, I do not take please lectures from anybody on that issue. Debbie, please. Because I went beyond what most people wanted done at the time and did it in the interests of the survivors of industrial schools uh, and put a historian into the Department of Education to go through all of the archives and to make the archives available to survivors about their own personal records, some of whom only saw for the first time when they went up to that loan to the Department of Education and Science. And then we're not going to seal these records either. That's not the agenda. And let's not please try and undermine the good faith of people in this. The Minister is not trying to do that. You know there's an issue. And the issue is, if he doesn't act, the records disappear for all time. That's his problem. That is his problem. That is the issue. That is the issue. And the, and the more fundamental issue then is, Sorry, and the more fun and, and the more fun please. sorry, the more fundamental issue then is what you do with the records and how you release them. And you know you know for the previous through the chair Deputy Smith the previous please. four sorry Deputy I have Smith, no please. I have no sorry Deputy I have Smith. no agenda here to try and suppress records. And please don't suggest I don't uh, please, no, no. please don't suggest no, please Taoiseach, please <coughs> please will you resume your seat. Deputy, do not accuse the Taoiseach of telling lies. Please. Please do your, it is not your question. We're coming to you in a minute. Please have some respect for the House. Now, your, your, your Taoiseach has dealt with your question, Deputy Cairns. He has. No, and it's not for you to decide. It's not for you to decide, Deputy Gannon, whether he has it or he hasn't. It's not one question from one member, please. Now, next. Please. No, no, you've said enough. Next. Oh, what's the point of order? about access to records for a long, long time that predates this issue. People who have been long in the House know that. The previous Minister for Children didn't resolve it. Okay? So there's two steps here. Preserve the records in the first instance and make sure they don't get into All jeopardy right. or, or loss. Of. That was the, or, the objective of the Minister. Second is then, how do we make the records available to those who need them? I'm for that. I am for that. So Please what I'm saying to the House, answer. do not try and undermine people's bona fides. I'm not trying to seal anything. I have no interest in sealing any records. I deal with people just as you do. I deal with people. Uh, who want access please, to these please. So don't go on the high moral ground, please, and try and sort of say that others on this side of the house, should, because we're in government trying to do the, the right thing, up. or someone yeah. trying to undermine people's access. For God, please, would, would, mem would, would members please behave with a little bit of decorum, please? Now, I beg the deputy, you've asked your question, deputy, you've asked your question, and you've got a reply. Now, can we move on to the next questioner, please?